If the withdrawal agreement is not ratified, the hard Brexit will take place without a possibility to negotiate these things, with all the consequences associated with that. I'd like to point out that the European elections are a key date where it must all be tied up. I don't think it's good that the UK takes part in the uh, European elections uh, and is um, taking part in important decisions and then leaves. So far, it has been the red lines of Theresa May that have made this impossible. We will see this afternoon or the next day if she is now really prepared to change these red lines and whether her party is prepared to follow her approach. And if the UK Parliament continues to fail to deliver a solution, then the British people deserves the right to have their final say. And this is the reason why a longer extension cannot and must not be ruled out. Right. If there will be a request in this respect, it will have to be well motivated and loyal cooperation obligation should be defined and respected. But in these circumstances, this request cannot be rejected. I'm not a big fan of Jeremy Corbyn, but saying that it is Jeremy Corbyn uh, with the, the problem, problem here, well, everybody knows that the problem is a division inside the Conservative Party. That is the problem. Everybody knows that. And, 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 and moreover, we are all following every day uh, the, the votings uh, inside the House of Commons. I can tell you that the, the sessions of the House of Commons have become more popular even than the matches in the Premier League uh, uh, in, 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 in Europe. The only difference is, well, I can tell you, it's always a draw there in, uh, in the House of uh, Commons, while there are more goals scored, uh, fortunately, I should say, mainly by also Belgian players, uh, into, the, uh, uh, in, in, into, the, into the Premier League. So let's be, uh, let's be very sincere with each other. Let's hope that these cross-party negotiations that start today give a solution in the coming days. And we, from all sides, we have said it, we are open to change the political declaration to make that possible. Customs union, free trade arrangement, a, a common market 2.0, maybe something else, we are open to do so. We need also a roadmap so that we are sure that everything is implemented in the secondary legislation in Britain until and before the 22nd of May. And last, and that's my last remark that I want to make, I know that a number of colleagues are thinking, ah, maybe a long extension, long extension. Don't make you any illusion. The fact that we should create uh, a situation where Britain is with one foot inside the Union and with one, side, and one foot outside the Union a is a tragedy, is bad for the European Union. Can you imagine a little bit that uh, the new Prime Minister of uh, Great Britain, uh, Mr Johnson or Mr Gove, both the architects, the architects of the Brexit disaster would have the keys in their hands on the future of the European Union. I cannot think about it.